Hello boys and girls and welcome to our color carpet time. This is that magical time of day when we gather around our big color carpet here at school. We practice some letters and the sounds they make and the words that they can create and all kinds of other cool things. Let's get started today with segmenting some words. So I'm going to give you a word. I want you to break it up into all the sounds that you hear and then I want you to tell me how many sounds you hear in each word. So first, Sun. The word is sun. How many sounds do you hear? S-uh-n. Sun. Sun. Did you get three? Good. How about hot? Hot. Hot. Three again? Alright. How about moss? And moss is that green stuff sometimes. If you maybe if you go for a hike, you see it growing on the side of a tree. Moss. What is that? How many sounds? M mm, a ah, s. Three again. Okay. How about gull? Gull. G a uh, ul. G a uh, ul. Go. Three. How about? Spill. Alright, this is getting getting too easy. I'm giving you easy words. Spill. Sp -i -l. Oh wait, there's a change there. It was three. Now how many do we hear? Sp -il. Sp -il. Did you get four? Alright. So that was some segmenting practice. Now I threw in some words that Maybe we haven't used before, but I did it for a reason. Because we we're talk, we've been talking about double final consonants, and so a couple of those words had double final consonants in them, like moss. Moss. It was only three sounds, but look at it's got a double final consonant. That means that there's two of a final consonant. In this case, it's two s's, right? Gull. Oh, uh, three sounds, but four letters because of the double final consonant, right? Now, we also had spill, and spill had four. Four sounds, but look at one, two, three, four, five. It actually has five letters. Here's our double final consonant again. Now, we have other types of final consonants. They don't always have to be exactly the same. Like it doesn't have to be the SS or the LL, right? Some words we have like duck. Listen to the sounds. D, uh, k. It's only three sounds. That C and that K together make just one k sound. So there's duck. So that is a double consonant, more of a final consonant right there, right? Or another example is p -e -k. peck, peck, there it is, there's another one, or b -e -k. see now there's three sounds, but there are four letters. This C and that K is what I want you to focus on right here. They just make a K sound. Just make a K sound. So just one sound, even though it's two different letters, still making one sound. Now, another pair of uh, consonants I want you to take a look at are these ones. This is long. L -a -n. Long, long. So we hear our three sounds again when we segment it. Long. I want you to look at this ng. It also comes up in song. Song. We have our ng again. Song. Long. Song. And we can even change it up a little bit. Why don't we do this one? Oops, look at that dot. I gotta fill that in. W, ing, wing. The 
This is wing. So we have some words with that are in G as well. Two consonants ending a word. So we're going to take a look at that. I just wanted you to be aware that it's not always a double final, like the same consonant over and over. Although, I do have a song I'd like to share, and there are a lot of those in there. I'd like us to practice this song right here. This is called Buzz and Hiss. You can see Buzz and Hiss, and we'll, we will play it two different times. Listen to this song. It is called Buzz and Hiss. Follow along. Listen again and chime in. Taking a look at the the words in here, are there any double final consonants words that you can find in here? How many can you find? How many double final consonants can you find? What I'd like you to do is write those double final consonants down, take a picture of them, so I could see which ones we found in this right this uh, this. So, songs, I'm sorry. I was drawing a blank. It's a song. Come on. Come on, Mr. T. All right. Before we go, we've got to do some practicing because we have a challenge coming up. Yes, Mrs. Duck is waiting. Mrs. Duck has her Friday sight word challenge, and she is practicing very hard. I promise you that. So, we need to practice just as hard. So, I'm going to hold, hold these up. I want you to do your best to identify them, say them. Or, that is or. That is one, one. Had, had. Buy, buy. But, but, words, words, okay, those are our sight words, make sure you keep practicing, you can always make your own, you can make your own flashcards, right, make sure that, uh, if, that you are practicing every day, if you can't make your own cards, you're not sure, you don't know where, where they are, um, you can always just watch this again. Okay, there's many ways to practice. We're going to get through it, and we're going to have a great challenge once again. I have a couple things that I'd like for you to do. Number one, uh, I want you to look over that song, Buzz and Hiss again, this song. Identify and write down as many double final consonant words as you can. We'll continue to work in our handwriting book. We're going to do M today. And there's a, a little mouse that you can color after you've written all of your M's there. And then we are going to go to our wonderful orange workbook. We have a couple pages that I would like us to work on. There is my bookmark. Let's open up. First, there's some uh, blending words. What we want to do here on page 2.22 is look at the picture and I want you to circle the word that identifies the picture. So this is a bell, so we circle bell, right? So just find the word that identifies the picture and circle it. And then we're going to jump ahead a couple pages to 2.27. And this, those ending CK and ING, 
And on these ones, you're going to do the same thing. There's a picture, and you've given three choices. You're going to circle the correct word. Okay? So not a ton. We're just getting started with it. Just a little uh, identifying. Okay? And remember to read for 15 minutes. Boys and girls, you are doing amazing. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.